help fighting the coronavirus is welcome wherever it comes from. In this case, from Sao Paulo's prisons. Workshops inside seven state penitentiaries, normally used to produce footballs or uniforms, were adapted to produce badly needed protective face masks. They are now churning out 50,000 a day. Not top grade N95 quality, but effective shields in non-surgical environments. About 430 inmates are participating. They are paid for this work and get a reduction of one day in their sentences for every three days worked. The head of the state agency responsible for managing work at penitentiaries says the masks will be used in the prisons themselves and also distributed to public hospitals and security forces. When an inmate volunteers to work, he usually does it with much care and dedication. In this moment of the pandemic, these inmates working on the mass know they are working for the well-being of the society, including their own families. The state of Sao Paulo has been hit hard by the coronavirus. The number of infections and deaths are still on the rise. The healthcare system, both public and private, is still coping. But authorities are struggling to prepare for the expected increase of infections over the coming weeks. Providing for medical equipment is one of the big challenges now. We have been trying to encourage the local production of masks and other protection equipment. The Brazilian industry is very capable and has been responding quickly. We also have a good relationship with countries like South Korea and China, which are major producers of protection gear and ventilators. So we plan to source materials there. So far, we have been successful in procuring products in these countries. The masks coming out of São Paulo's prisons may help to save lives and protect the public outside, while giving those inside an opportunity to engage in honest work and contribute to society. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.